Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. Hope you're having a great day. We're picking up right where we left off. Well, kinda. It's the same Sector great scan. dust storm uh, that we left with. And I managed to prolong our water indefinitely. But unfortunately, the oxygen supply is about to run out. Suffocation is about to happen. But it's only going to last for a couple of hours. Um, that's an important fact to keep in mind. It's only a couple of hours. Disasters will have people having a problem. There are now two domes with absolutely no oxygen. Now, I've taken some steps, albeit I did it a little bit too soon, uh, but I've taken some steps to mitigate this in the future. I honestly thought we could handle I, I don't know. I, this dome is not even up yet, so I was clearly not prepared oxygen-wise. Uh, for the water problem, it actually wasn't the farms at all. I've got the farms running and we're still good. It was a uh, subsurface water or a subsurface heater that I installed over here to get ready for. Uh, I think I had it right here, yeah, to get ready for this whole area to be done. And we were gonna have more like polymers and stuff over here, and I was gonna start getting some power expanded here. And anyway, um, that doesn't matter anymore. We we are gonna need more water tanks for sure. Uh, so I am gonna add an additional water towers to make sure that that's not a problem in the future. But ultimately, the oxygen problem was just the fact that I have only two storage. I have I had two of these. I got this oxygen tank here, which is empty. And uh, I've got another one. I forget where it was. It's over here somewhere, I thought. Maybe it's not. I, I know I have two of them. I just don't remember what the second one is. In any case, Moxie's going to start running again. We should have a big surplus now. And I want to find it now, actually. I know there's two of these. I know I had two. Um, here, right here. There we go. So there's two of these. And I, th I thought that'd be enough. But it's, uh, it's not. So I went ahead and I got a second Moxie here, which d currently doesn't have any electricity. And that's okay. And then um, we're going to have extra water tank here, oxygen tank here. And an extra oxygen tank over here. So each dome is going to like have their own supply. So I could potentially cut the whole grid. And um, you know they'll each have their own supply at that point. Uh, right up against the, the domes. So this one's got its own supply here too. So anyway, once they get... Uh, once we have that overage. And then this here, I want to go ahead and get that passage started. I've been... I've postponed this passage so that this would be completely off of the grid. But now that, this, now that we're uh, ready to go, the storm's over... Go ahead and finish the passage. It shouldn't take that much concrete. We actually have a little bit of a bank here now. Take a look at uh, Timmy here. And I just had him pick up the metal and deliver it. So let's start start our concrete uh, tour here once more. I don't like this solution because the way these tours work, these transport routes, the way they work is if you pick up the last remaining resource in the area and you leave your uh vehicle will not return so basically i have to almost say hey make sure you have i can't even do that really um there, ne there needs to be a way for him to leave one behind so that the route can just continuously go but unfortunately that's not something that i have the capability of doing uh and there won't be a way for me to mine i guess extract the concrete fast enough to mitigate that because his truckload is 45 each so the only way i could mitigate that is if i had a transport route that took it like all the way over here purely for the sake of time so that they had enough to they had enough time to accumulate more than 45 on this and they don't so so it's it's not a good long-term solution um i also don't like this wind turbine ir issue I, I i just don't like this in general but I, this whole area is it's really difficult to extract from. So for the time being, that's my solution. And it may be a, it may be a slightly longer than uh, anticipated solution as well. Okay, so we've got some living quarters set up over here. And this is going to be good for our senior citizens living. We've also got the open-air gym, which both of these can start using. Since there's no open-air gym in either one of these, there's really no recreation. Uh, they're all going to have to come over here. And then uh, I'm thinking about putting Arcology in here, actually, instead of the water. I realize there's three farms, but Arcology would give me lots of housing. And then I could, you know, put some other stuff in here. Uh, maybe even another 
I can't put more farms. I wish there was mini farms. You know? Although, we can put ranches. But those can be hit by the renegades. So I'm trying not to, I'm trying to avoid that too. All right, once this is done, then we'll have life support on this. And then we can really see what the life support system is working with. It should also connect this. Maybe it doesn't. Looking like it doesn't. I'm gonna have to go one in like that. Can you do this, please? Yeah, that. Can you? Yeah, go do, go do that. Okay, and then I want to put the ramp in so that these guys aren't trapped uh, after these are made. They can go this way, of course, but I want them to be able to go every way. So um, we're just gonna go like so, like that. Okay. And then this one over here can now start. I had this canceled. We have the Martian University, and the first group of graduates is going to be engineers. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make that a hard, like, please do engineers and only engineers thing, because we are doing lots of stuff requiring engineers. Uh, specifically, I want to make sure that we're going to make good machine parts and also electronics here. But geologists will be the next thing we train. Um, we I, Normally, I'd say it's botanists, but we don't really need a whole lot of food. At the moment, we're good on food. We do have 94 colonists, though. Something to really... Um, I'm almost thinking of taking the spire out and putting arcology here. Um, just to give extra places here, too. Uh, we got a couple of grocers here that they can shop at. I'm, gonna try, I'm trying not to put a grocer in here. I'm also trying not to put an infirmary or anything else that needs worked in here. Uh, aside from the farms and then the renegades can work in the farms as well as other people can come in here and work on the farms as they if they'd like to but renegades living in here they won't be able to ruin this stuff i just i don't think that's a, a i don't think that's really going to be an issue though because with the passages being a thing I, I mean i think the renegades can just travel to the other domes and mess things up anyway i i don't know how that works i'm i'm thinking it probably doesn't matter but in any case it's still you know the farming dome uh, let's put in, I don't know, some other parks or something. You know, we're making decent polymers, and with extra people, I can make even more. Maybe an art store is an okay thing right now. We could put a really little one. I think a little, a little tiny art store in this dome right here. It, you gotta be careful with these art stores, man. You, you just, it's, they'll suck down all of your polymers really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect this. We kept having pipe leaks, and um, you know, obviously, I'm short on oxygen, so I don't want that to happen. Uh, I shouldn't be short on oxygen anymore here. Let me just get rid of that. Oxygen should be fine now. Uh, storage output. Hold on. How are we doing on storage now? We should be fine here. Yeah, we're going up. Cool. Let's get the magnetic filtering there. And uh, oxygen tanks are good. Obviously, there's bigger storage options, but I've got bigger issues on my mind right now. I'm going to go ahead and have these wind turbines built. And then I think I really don't like this. I don't like having to maintain this. Um, I think I hate it. <laughs> I think I hate having to maintain this one. So I'm... I'm going to take a power line and run it all the way out there. I don't like that at all. Um, I think I might be able to like mitigate the problem with the grid by seeing if I can maybe separate these two. Like, if I can just take this away and say, hey, we don't need this connected anymore, like this, then I shorten this grid up and I can go ahead and take this and just run it out. like this. I, I don't, I get, I really hate this, but I need it constantly powered and I don't want to maintain extra stuff. And this is going to mean I have to maintain extra. I'm just going to have to maintain extra on this line, aren't I? Is that all? That's all I'm doing really as I'm just making a really long power line I'll have to maintain now. I don't think I can even get it in there. It doesn't look like I can get that in here. Oh, really? You're going to do this? Hang on. Whoops. Uh, power cables. Let's run it through here. Can I even do that? I'm not even entirely sure it'll let me. OK. 
get rid of this. Power cables. Okay, it'll let me do this. Yeah, so something like... it's It looks horrible. It looks so bad. But something like this. For the time being. Just so I don't have to like maintain an extra... Bit of machine parts. But like, you know what I mean? Like this is this is kind of silly. It's almost it's it's really stupid. Because then you'll have like leaks over here and I'm hoping that the leaks don't matter. Uh and what I mean by that is I've got two sterling generators. They each produce 20 power. Right? So I'm oh, sorry, they each produce 10 power. Uh so this is taking 15. Yeah, that's not going to work. Shoot, I guess I guess it's not gonna work. Never mind. Damn. Well, yeah, because then I have to worry about maintaining this line. Ah, never mind. Guess we have no choice to do the stupid thing. That is the the only thing we have is doing the stupid thing. Resources are low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Resources are low. Electronics are low. Food shouldn't be low. Food is just like. Uh oh, 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 oh! Don't do that. Don't do that. Cancel. Cancel. Whew. Why is my, my salvage tool is still active? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, th we don't have a food problem any right now, anyway. This stuff will pop. It'll be fine. We're only consuming 20 in the time it takes us to produce 85. So we'll start building up a bank of that stuff pretty quickly here. Um, Curiosity can go back to Earth. Still no reason to do that. We're only down to 10 rare metals left, and we're still trying to sprint deep metal extraction, which um, it's kind of a Hail Mary pass, really, because like I'm giving up some stuff here for doing that. I don't particularly like that. I, you know what? We could, we could speed this up by doing another research center and then training researchers. We just have no... I want to train scientists. Um, and then so I think once this first batch graduates... Hmm. It says we need a lot. I think having a few scientists, though, would be a good idea. I just don't want it to give us officers right now. I want it to give us other things. Hmm. Should we do night school? We should do night school as well, right? Let's um. Let's get night school into. And this is this is set as a very high priority, so people will do this over other things. Uh, unfortunately, that means they're not going to farm. Eh, probably should do that. All right, let's say the night school is only this many. Wow, you're filling that fast. <laughs> I can't click it off. You're filling it too quickly. There it goes. All right. And that way we can at least get... Yeah, yeah there, there we go. Okay. Nobody's in the infirmary, though. That's a problem. Um, let's make this shift a two-person shift. And that way we can get two people in the infirmary as well. There we go. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, school still doing school things. People are starting to get, um, you know, starting to graduate with decent traits. I'm trying to find someone who recently graduated. Let me see. What's about this kid? He's religious. Well, everyone's religious. They're, you know, there's the Church of the New Ark. Everyone's going to be religious. Yeah, it's, it's stupid to do this because they'll get this anyway. And uh, how about our, our vehicle? I'm, I might have to skip ahead in the video here because we're at another point where I have to kind of wait just a little bit. We're at 94 people. But this is another thing where I just kind of have to let it run for a little bit. Another one and a half machine parts needed here. At least I have that. Come on, Timmy. I don't have enough for another scrubber. I probably have to cool it on the scrubbers for a little bit too. Um, maybe we get different. Do we need more charging stations by chance? We're super set on power. I, I don't think I ever need power at this pace. It would be helpful, I think, to have more water tanks. We ran out of water. We were really at, at struggling there with water. So I, I can't do the mega tank. So we're gonna do a couple of extra water tanks. Still having them near the uh, 
the water, uh, subsurface water heater is still a good idea. And uh, I don't want them here because I'm going to be extracting here. So it'll have to be maybe on this side. Maybe we put it like over here. Hmm. I don't think so. It could go here. It could go there. That's one spot. Maybe just the one for now. There we go. Sector scanned. And then I think this this was disconnected because of a leak. So let me just reconnect that. And the scrubber actually will scrub this tank too. So yeah, we're starting to increase water there. Good. Okay. Do we have people living here yet? Doesn't look like it. We got to get another ramp on this side. Uh, it's never remember where it is. There we go. About like that, let's say. And then we've got a ton of power and storage too, right? Yeah. Storage max output. Yeah. 320 power is our max output. And we're currently consuming 265. So that's not a big deal. In a in a in a cold wave, we would not be able to sustain the entire colony on just batteries because of the output limitations. But we would also have these running still, so that's still fine. What else? I don't have my fuel refineries running because there's no need. I have way more fuel than I'll ever need at the moment. However, we do get CO2 jet propulsion has finally arrived. So this is going to help me a lot with this whole transport route thing, the, the, the concrete route thing. This all gets completely solved as soon as we get shuttles. So I'm looking at that too, but I'm not going to do it until we, we sprint this. We, I need to sprint this, which brings me to taking a risk. I think, I think, um, if it lets me do it again, I'm not sure if it does, but if it lets me do it again, I'm going to do it right there. Way up here. Capture meteors. Yeah. Let's do that again. And if, if we can get more meteors to fall, <laughs> as, as, as bad as that sounds, uh, we can potentially get more science. More science, please. More science, please. And then, um, of course, we're still doing deep scanning and stuff. Uh, is it is it worth making another tower? I don't I don't think I need it, but if it's one electronics, maybe it's worth getting one more. Um, you could put it like over here or something. I don't know. Over here would make more sense just because it's more forward to where we want to be. I don't know. I have to. This is really far away from a drone commander. This is fine. We just put it here. You get a flat. You basically get this flat base um, upgrade to your to your scanning speed on the map. Sensor tower boost is two hundred percent here, but um, you know you'd get ten percent for each tower up to fifty. I think is what it is. So having a fifth having a fifth sensor tower is a good idea just for the rest of these, but. It's just the one, though. I'm not going to do another one. That 50%, yeah. I think... I, I don't remember. Maybe they changed it. But I thought 50% was the... Sector scanned. The most you could get from it. Regardless. Uh, let's pop that back on so we can make more polymers. And then I think... Um, we appear to have a homeless person. Huh. We also appear to have... Wow. Yeah. Homeless and unemployed. We should probably make things, and I think we'll make the uh, all the, make all this stuff. Yep, and then let's activate two of these farms, and then we can pull this one just popped. So I think we can remove this farm, and uh, then we'll put in another apartment here. I think, yeah, for sure. We need another apartment right here. Provide housing in the area, and then they can also work in all these buildings, and then also work in these farms too. So. Uh, let's go and go apartments and I'm just waiting for the farm to disappear. The other farm is still very much operational. 
There we go. And then, uh, we'll at least get these two farms running. I think that will also drain us for the water. Oh, we don't have anywhere for the waste rock anymore. Uh, like that, please. And then I guess we'll do one more right there. I took out the, the pending extractor that was right here. Just because, I don't know. The, having that thing that's just sitting there it didn't make any sense to me. But I could also put that, make sure it goes right here anyway. Just so both of these uh, domes can work it. Speaking of which. Still no engineers. You can see their progress in, uh, in graduating. It's a mod that we added. So... These are their percentages, basically, on how close they are to graduation. And uh, I think once we get maybe 10 engineers, I'll kick this out and change it to botanists. So that we really start kicking out the food. And then um, or maybe scientists would be better. Yeah, scientists would be better. I need people working here. Uh, and then actually maybe another... I don't think we're making that many electronics. We need. We have five electronics maintenance here. Plus another one here. So that's six total electronics maintenance. And we're not able to make that many. Um, like it says we're able to make 1.7 a soul. But I guess once the engineers get in here. Yeah, once we get engineers, actually, this will that'll change, I think. Maybe... I'm debating on whether or not I should just open up all these slots and just not work anything, but... Martian Tribune! No news. Okay, well, the social story is the Martian games. And, uh, this is the Olympics thing? No, almost. Following the failed bid to host the Olympics on Mars, uh, Rocket Cosmos has decided to create our own games, incorporating Blackjack and Hoopers, among others. Games of Hoopers will start things off this coming Saturday in the open air gym. Also considered for the Martian games are dome skiing, where contestants race down the outside of a dome on pallets, and drone jumping. Wow. Dome skiing. Um, wow. That's pretty, that gets pretty steep. Maybe you do it on this one instead? You know, you have to wonder whether or not... If they started up here, right? And they began to ski down. Again, they're very, this is a very big dome. I mean, they're pretty small. Here's the, here's how big they are, right? So if they started up here and began skiing down here, I don't think that would even be a risk. Also, I think just because of the angle, you'd probably want to go down the side here. But I don't think that's a big a risk at all. I mean, I realize that it's a pretty far jump or pretty long, down, far way down. But like you start here with the gravity differences on Mars versus Earth, you wouldn't fall as fast. And then also, I think the landing would be not that big of a deal. At least for someone who's maybe born on Earth, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But maybe for people who are living on, Mar on Mars, because their bone density and stuff, they wouldn't be... Their, their bodies would develop for the conditions on Mars anyway, so... To where somebody born on Earth, I think, might have an easier time with that unfair advantage in the dome skiing. <laughs> dome skiing. All right. I'm going to let this run a little bit. And um, I'll check back in with you guys later as I uh, keep this going. We're at 6.6% .6 on temperature. I think there is a limit on uh, on this. As far as how high we can go before we start getting the atmosphere in. So it'll take a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, Meteor Storm is uh, is done. Or at least it started. Uh, it's happening up here. So we're going to need to get up here. And uh, I'm going to gonna need to ramp up there. And, and then we can you know figure it out. And we're also going to start scanning up there too. Because I haven't done anything up with that yet. Um, but hopefully we get some research that we can get from the Meteor Strikes and... Maybe there's a breakthrough or two up there. We should probably investigate it. So what I'd like to do is, since I've got this um, this drone hub here now, 
If we can start the ramp, like right here, it would be just close enough for these guys to reach it. So I'm gonna see if there's a way to do that. We're just gonna go ramp and we'll start, let's say we can go a little narrower maybe. Um, I need to go R and T to resize, here it goes. And we'll see if we can maybe get up here. Uh, this looks like it'll work about here. And it looks like it's gonna take a bunch of waste rock. We have access to waste rock though. If we can make it cost less, that'd be nice. Uh, ooh, 14 would've been cool. How about over here? A uh, thousand is no good. Yeah, we want it to cost as little as possible. 49 is a pretty good number. 20 is a good number. 20 it is, I think. Yeah, 22, 80, 80, 20.8. Sounds good. So we're going to try that. And then because it's right there, I think. Oh! <laughs> Never mind. Hang on. Uh, that was. That sucks. Uh, so I've got to figure out where this line is. It looks like I can flat. I need to flatten this first, and then I can just start it here. So why don't we start with flattening? And we'll see about flattening. Let's say that. And uh, we'll also want to maybe have a place where we can put the waste rock. So we'll just maybe put a little dumping site. Uh, I don't know. How about uh, right here, right next to this? Seems fine. So we'll see about them flattening that out, and uh, then we'll get a ramp, and we'll we'll get a ramp up there to go that way. Seems okay. Uh, as far as the rocket, we can land it now, no big deal. And uh, we'll try it again too. We got tons of fuel, and I love that we have this fuel because it also means once we get the shuttles up and running, that we have this huge backlog. This like 158 souls worth of fuel actually right now is what it says. We're only consuming three. I wonder what's... Oh, you know what? It's the polymers factories that are consuming it. And I've got an extra one that I've built right here, which also has people working in it. We're going to amplify that too. And cool thing, right? We've got graduated in engineers now. Yeah, that's great. So I'm going to let one more pop out. There we go. And then I'm just going to go to auto from that point. So everyone that pops out now will just be automatically selected. Uh, I got my four engineers that I really wanted to kick out. Two of them are going to work here, which is pretty cool. I'm hoping that another one's come and work over here, potentially. Um, what we could do is maybe say, hey, specialization only, and then uh, it doesn't look like it's going to refill it. Maybe they're over here instead. Let's amplify this one, too. Uh, okay. I guess it's not going to work that way. But either way, we've kicked up we kicked out the engineers that we needed, which is great. So, and now we can see that um, it's like Simon is going to graduate next from the morning class. Three of them will graduate in shift two. That's going to be pretty nice today. I don't know what they're going to get selected, but it says we need twenty engineers. So, but we're able to make a lot more machine parts now, and uh, we're easily making almost four times. What we, what we what we require the only thing that's missing now is electronics production i'm gonna rely on this for that and um we have a small electronics factory i'm gonna i think i'm gonna remove this and drop a major like a big one right here i think that's gonna be the primary uh once we can found. once we get that oh here we go it's up here yep yep we want to get up there uh did we flatten this yet Still working on it. Okay, no, no big deal. Uh, might want to add a couple more. No drones on this. May want to give that a few more drones. How are you doing, Nash Commander? Pretty good. Let's pack up a couple of your drones. Um, we can see that Timmy has not done anything. <laughs> Timmy, come on over here. Um, I've actually been waiting for that, really, because, it, like I said, if he if he picks up everything that's available, he'll stop the route. So I'm just letting it build up until he's got at least two trips worth. And at the current pace, he might actually have three trips worth, which is pretty cool. One and a half for maintenance. And it looks like there's two and a half here. Cool. Okay, Timmy will get it started on that. I could have built a I could have made a bulldozer. That'd be a way way faster. But like I don't do a whole lot of landscaping. You know, I will eventually, I think, but for now, I don't. I don't really do that much. So, so once they flatten this, then we'll start our our ramp up. That'll be sweet. For power, 
it doesn't look like we're at all that much of a surplus, you know? We've got two atomic accumulators, but we actually have to maintain... Sorry, we have three of them, but we have to maintain two of them. It would be nice to get another scrubber. We have just enough electronics to build it, but that's no good. Because I want to make sure we can maintain the buildings. That's why I wanted the engineers in here, yes. Let's go ahead and add two more work slots to that. And uh, now we should be able to make a lot more. Look at the difference here. So this guy's a 154. Wow. 154, 156 as their uh, work performance compared to the non-specialized, which is an 84 or an 83. So basically, he counts as two of these guys. Uh, it's really, really nice. Once you have specialists, it's very good. We have eight graduates, and it looks like we've graduated a couple more engineers. Awesome. And then botanists are starting to get popped out too. Very nice. And hopefully they start addressing these farms. We've got uh, some more food going to pop out there. Is I think once these two get to about 70%, I'll open up this one, and then I can get rid of this one. And then I think this one is going to be... Honestly, maybe I put the electronics factory here. That's not bad. It's one big space, and it's right next to the rare metals. Maybe I put it here instead. I think so. I think so. The botanist is working here. So he's a 131 worker performance compared to a 71, 74, 98. I mean, that's pretty good. 98. Brimming with enthusiasm. Ah, the enthusiasts. Good to have enthusiasts. We're training that in the school to be an enthusiast. It's always nice to have. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking at... I don't see any unemployed, and I don't see any homeless yet. But um, we, may actually, we may actually need more. Um, I could start thinking about this, too, because this area here is left open because I was thinking about doing more domes over here, right? And uh, if we are, and we may... Anomaly found. Ooh. What are you? I don't like these icons, man. Because it usually means your mystery is starting. I mean, it doesn't usually mean that in the first hundred souls. But after the first hundred souls, you could inadvertently start your mystery. And I don't want to start my mystery yet. Because uh, I, uh, I don't know what that mystery is all about. I don't know if it's going to be difficult or not, you know? It'd be nice to... Just give me electronics, please. <laughs> I just need it. Five souls away. That's it. Five more souls and we have it. It's going to be beautiful. I wish I could do, like, work hard in school kind of thing. Why don't we uh, just open this whole thing up? Now we have enough people. I think we can handle it. Open the whole thing up. And uh, it's not a priority workstation, but, like, people want to be trained for jobs, so... Sweet. And we'll have, looks like, at least one graduating on the night shift. Uh, you know, renegades can live here. We have one unemployed here, actually. Interesting. Will you be moving through? No. No! It's not fair! I need my concrete! Please, j just miss. Can you just barely miss? Oh, no. Uh, guys, time to move. No, we need to evacuate. Evacuate the area. Uh, not going to do it, huh? You're going to wait for all your other drones to get there. You shouldn't be doing that. Move. <laughs> Just get out of the way. All right. Come on, drone. Come on, little drone. Come here. Hurry up. No, little drone. Little drone. Oh, that's not a little drone. That's a resource. That's concrete. Okay. No, no, no. No, no. Stay out of the way, guys. Nope. Okay, you're good. We're, we're, everything's fine. Okay, move back. Uh, this is just a bad spot to be right now. Right, because this is where the meteor shower is. Okay, we need to leave. Both of you guys. Everybody leave. Everybody leaves. Everyone leave. Let's go. Get out of the area. If it's going gonna, it's gonna to demolish all of our stuff. We already know what's going to happen. Let's just let it happen. Just let it be. Metals deposit. Yeah, whatever. Just go. Go, go, go. Uh, stop. Timmy's out of the way, but Nash Commander. Give me a second. Guys. Guys. 
Just just wait. Okay. Wait a second. Okay, now we're good. Let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, you guys. Are you going to go with Nash? There you go. Nash, wait for your drones. Actually, why don't we just tell him to pack up and then we can go. How's that sound? And then we'll have to return to this area later when it's not so dangerous. Maybe we'll... You know what, Nash? We can get you over here, man. Although we've already packed these up, so maybe we should just... Yeah, let's just un unload them on this drone hub instead. Nash, what are you doing? Just pause right here, please. Okay, you don't have any drones now. They're all packed up, packed up. Or you do. Hey, hey, little drone buddies. Wow. <laughs> Beat it time. Meteor incoming. We know. All right, good. Or concrete stolen. <sighs> yeah, this one. They can steal stuff. We need to get stuff out of here. We need to get stuff out of the range of this dome, I guess. That sucks. Or just put in... Well, yeah. Or just put in a security station. You know? One security station in here. I think so. I like these farms, but... We might have to have another dome for farms. It may just be a thing we have to do. We could do we could do some over here too. Or I get rid of one of these. Uh well, I could do it right here. Yeah, I can I can do it right here. We get rid of this. I don't want to click the dome on accident. Small fountain, statue, small garden. Get rid of all of that and replace it with a security station here. There we go. Hopefully we get some people working there. And maybe we can stop them from committing crimes in the area. Although, we don't have anybody working at this security station. Or here. Yeah. It seems we have... A lot of people, but they're not living here. Well, they are living here. They're just not working here. This is now a big priority, and we're going to limit this to two people at most. I think it's I have too many priority workplaces, right? So perhaps um, if I can remove some of the priorities, like the research lab, which I think is a big priority, we could remove that as a priority. Um, I think with a farm, let's move it down. Um, we could say that the electronics factory is secondary or not, not a, uh, yeah, let's, let's not make it a high priority. A medium priority is what I meant. Uh, secondary. What the hell? There we go. Just kind of cool it on the, you must work here vibes, you know, and then maybe they'll, maybe they'll all fall into place where they need to be. We have some engineers over here now too. That's nice. And uh, looks like we have our first person working here at least for only one shift. We really should have two shifts on this because it's ele it's electronics. Uh, polymers will be a if you want to thing. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that might fix it. We'll see. The, the security station might fix the might fix that issue. And then we don't have a whole lot of people working here. Oh, these farms. We're out, we're down to like no food now. Zero hours. We're going to starve. These two farms are going to pop soon. I think we really should keep these as big priorities. And then why don't we go ahead and just... Why don't we just go ahead and turn that on? Oh, boy. Yeah, this stuff's going to get completely cooked. We're just going to accept that. Uh, You know what, Nash? Here, hang on. Why don't you just uh, package up your drones? Thank you. Okay, now you can just you just wait there, I guess. We'll unpack the drones here. And then they can help with this. Wow. 
You know, the no pause element is, it's nice, you know? It's, it's nice, you, you just, oh, everything is always moving. But the game's one time speed is still slow enough to where you can take your time and, and chill. You know, you don't have to really worry about things. Things don't happen that fast in Mars. I mean, look at how slow this guy is. You know? He's all purple because of the mod. You know, showing him where his path is and stuff. Yeah. It's all good. You know, it's, uh... I'm good with one time speed. Instead of pause. It doesn't seem to have destroyed my uh, wind turbine yet, which is... That's awful nice of it. It looks like it's just malfunctioned. It's not destroyed. Also, also very nice. That may change in a second, because there's an awful lot of meteors hitting over here now. I'm really glad that meteor shower didn't happen here. If you could give me... like, Can you guys give me more than just one of these little things, though? Because that's a pretty big risk, prompting that. You're only going to give me one? That's really unfortunate, you know? How much more do I have to go on that? Oh, it says 79% of 15,000. Ooh, I have some money. 174 million. Is that enough? No, I need more money. Huh. How would I get the money? I could export the remainder of my rare metals. I'd rather not. Could have, though. We put another scrubber here. And then I don't have to maintain this accumulator. And I can open up that. Let's do that, actually. Put another scrubber right here. Yeah, I might want to move that ramp, actually. So I, want, I think I like the scrubber here better. Yeah, let's t tear down that ramp and then put the scrubber in uh, here instead. Yeah, I like it much better here. Right about... I think I'll go there. Yep. And then we'll take the ramp and we'll put it here. Okay. So that's one extra scrubber. Eventually this whole thing will be scrubbed. It'll, it'll all be getting scrubbed and we'll never have maintenance and it'll be so, so glorious. Look at all the machine parts we have in storage right now. Like 39 of them is amazing. We don't really need this building operating, honestly. I'm gonna I'm gonna shut it down actually. I realize I just it's a prefab, so I didn't have to spend any resources on it necessarily. I guess I had money a long time ago. But it's not really making anything, and we could use that labor other places. But the required power is a lot, and um It's also electronics maintenance, which I don't have a whole lot of. I don't have a whole lot of electronics, I mean, for the maintenance. Sector scan. Let's get the scrubber online. And then we can also, you know, we can open this up, of course, for extra power, which I should be able to do that now, honestly, to help with this. And then we won't have to maintain this anymore, which means we just build up more polymers. And then, of course, the art, the art store, which is sucking down the polymers like crazy, can actually still do things. It can actually still work. Yeah, this covers almost everything. It doesn't quite get this, but it's okay. Because we'll have a scrubber placed right here, too. And then that will cover the whole dome, plus all of these. So, it'll be fine. Um, let's just make sure we get it connected to power, at least. Can we hook it to the, t to the tunnel? Does that work? Or does it have to be... Eh, it doesn't appear to work. Okay. Oh, I was, wasn't sure. Because the tunnel is power. But it's apparently not, like, something you can just tap into. Uh, we'll just, uh... We'll put it like this. Whatever. No big deal. Ramp's built. And then we can start getting this stuff scrubbed. Maybe even before we maintain this. Depending on how fast these drones are. There we go. We got it. Can we scrub you? Before it's too late. Same thing with this and this. 
We just run this once. That's it. It's on like a timer. There it goes. There it goes. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Martian Tribune. What's up? No headlines. No headlines. But there is a social story called New Language Develops on Mars. It's been reported that the language spoken on Mars has changed so much from those spoken on Earth that it is now mutually unintell unintelligible when compared to any language on Earth and thus must be classified as its own language. Some experts have claimed that it is not a new language, but rather a combination of Swahili and Irish. Okay. Experts. This strikes us here at the Martian Tribute is quite odd. Yeah. However, as no one speaking either of those languages has yet come to Mars. Yeah, exactly. Okay. The Swahili people have, uh, they've come to Mars. They, they know. Okay. They know. Food popped, I think, right? Didn't it? Didn't that pop just now? Oh dear. That. Wait, we consumed it all already? No. It says we have seven food, but that we have infinite time remaining. So I'm not sure where the food went. But it's definitely it definitely popped. This this crop just happened. So what's this guy up to? Our two Cassini visiting the diner. He's gonna he's pretty he goes pretty fast. Look how small he is compared to even the drones. Like these solar panels are so big. Look at this guy. <laughs> he's middle aged with no specialization. He has dust sickness. That's still a thing, I guess. Fit, gamer, Martian-born, religious, renegade. Dun, dun, dun. All right, we need a security station everywhere, don't we? If he can just run on over here. Mm. The huge need for security stations continues. Well, I don't have a place I can put it in here unless I get rid of the houses, which... I might. It's it might be worth it so he doesn't steal stuff, but look at this machine shop, dude. It's all oh my gosh, it's all of them. That's awesome. Let's go ahead. We don't have to have that be a priority. Um We actually would like the small electronics factory to have these guys, but we're so close, guys. 82% until we can we can finally start to get this. And then at that point, geologists are gonna be awesome to have. Right now it doesn't it says we don't need any geologists, but I'm gonna go ahead and train a few. So that we can get some. Um it won't it won't do it on auto. It won't give us geologists until there's an actual need for it. I wanna know what happened to this food. Cause it says we have two food. But this crop just popped with like 30 food. So what like what gives? This one's going to be huge. 75 food, just bang. Huh? Maybe that's why it's an NA. Cold wave approaching. See, this is why I'm trying to raise the temperature. We're going to have to deal with that uh, next time. So, um, power is going to be an issue with this. I'm going to have to add more wind turbines, I think, here. Uh, certainly want to have polymer blades on all of them if we don't already. But I'm, I'm going to need to add more. Um, and I, I'm, I'm tempted to add them in different spots that are not, you know, in this little chunk of area, but I want them in the range of the scrubber. So, um, we do have a little bit of space right here. I guess I could put them in, I could put the one here and then maybe here and then kind of like this, the separate grid, but it's, it's something. And it's in range of the scrubber. I don't know if that one is. I'd rather not build it when I have space up elsewhere. Yeah, I, maybe I can put another one right here. Nah. It's going to have to be here, I guess. Just fine. It's something, right? We want extra power to be built in. Um, yeah, and then maybe we'll put one like this and like this. We don't want to block our drone's ability to move through here. So I'm trying not to like 
Like, I could put it here, but I'm trying not to so they don't have to, like, they have a nice path here, you know? This is a very busy ramp now, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna need stuff. Okay, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna lend, let this video end here. I think this is uh, probably a longer video than needed to be. But uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you if you like the video. I hope you know what to do. It really helps out. Thanks for the likes. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, maybe consider doing so. It's been fun. I hope you guys enjoy Surviving Mars. And uh, we'll see you next time. It's been fun. Bye.